Now more on our top story. President Joe Biden will deliver his first primetime address tonight. The speech will mark one year since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. CBS4 Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke is in our nation's capital tonight with a preview and where Biden will also sign that American Rescue Plan. Good evening, Anna. Good evening. President Biden actually decided to sign that bill uh, today just a few hours ago. He originally had planned to sign the COVID relief bill tomorrow, but the White House says that he decided to move that to today because he wanted to make sure that Americans got this relief as soon as possible. One year after the coronavirus began forcing the nation into lockdown, President Joe Biden signed the American Rescue Plan into law. This historic legislation is about rebuilding the backbone of this country. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the $1.9 trillion package will deliver immediate relief to Americans bearing the brunt of the pandemic. The Biden plan uh, will make an immediate difference in people's lives, injecting vaccine into their arms, money into their pockets, children going back into school safely, and people going to work. But Republicans, including Texas Senator John Cornyn, say when the president delivers his first primetime address, they hope he leaves the bill out of it. Well, what I'm afraid of is he's going to uh, claim victory for this, uh, this Trojan horse of a $1.9 trillion uh, COVID bill, which 90% of it doesn't even cover COVID. President Biden says when he addresses the nation, he will launch the next phase of his COVID response plan and highlight the role that Americans will play in beating the virus to return to normalcy. We cannot let our guard down now or assume that victory is inevitable. Biden says he will also reflect on the last year in his speech tonight and the 525,000 Americans who have died from COVID-19. And the president will address the nation tonight from the East Room of the White House starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And the White House says that his speech will last roughly 15 minutes long. Live in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you. Anna, the president has a lot of bases to cover tonight. What can we expect as far as the tone of that entire speech tonight? It will definitely be a somber occasion uh, tonight. The president said earlier today when he was signing the COVID relief bill uh, that he does want to deliver a message of hope and promise. Uh, but we do expect the president to also uh, touch on getting this COVID relief bill uh, past the finish line. This is a victory uh, for his administration. Uh, however, it is the one year anniversary of this pandemic. So there will be a lot of reflection uh, specifically on the lives, the American lives that were lost uh, in over the last year uh, due to this pandemic. A lot of different emotions tonight. All right, CBS4 Washington correspondent Anna Wernicke, thank you for that report.